Hello, React Native Developers. I hope you are well. William here, recording from beautiful Zurich, Switzerland. Can we implement the Tinder swipe effect without crossing the React Native bridge in five minutes or less? Let's have a look. But before we get started, let's write down our transformations. So here we have our Tinder card and there are basically three transformations we need to apply. The first one is a rotate on the Z axis from minus alpha to alpha. The other one is a rotate, uh, translate Y to the whatever is the Y value of the pan gesture handler. And then for translate X, we're gonna translate from minus A to A, where A, so here if I rotate the box to 15 degrees, let's say, A is the width of the outer box, the one that can contain the rotated card. So yeah, we have A, which is the sum of A1 plus A2. So A1 is this segment and A2 is this segment, which we can calculate by looking at these two triangles. That's right, we're gonna use trigonometry again. Can you believe I managed to add trigonometry to this example? So, and we have H and W. W is the width of the card. H is the height of the card. And so let's go into the trigonometry. So we have a, we have sinus of alpha equals a1 divided by h, which means that a1 equals h times sinus alpha. And for a2, we have this alpha angle here. So we know that cosinus alpha equals a2 divided by width. So that gives us a equals, so that gives us a1 equals w cosinus alpha, and therefore a equals h sinus, so h time sinus alpha plus w times cosinus alpha. So I can copy this formula directly in my code. So we have A equals H times math sinus alpha plus with times math cosinus alpha. Alpha is math pi divided by 12, which is around 15 degrees. And we can finally write down our transformation. So here I have the card component, which I'm gonna wrap into an animated view. And we're gonna use interactable to drive the animation. So I'm gonna use interactable from Redash. So interactable, the original implementation comes from so the original implementation in reanimated comes from the reanimated example repository and I've packaged it into the Redash library, which is where I package all my utility functions for reanimated, so the functions that I, and components which I always use and reuse. So I'm gonna overlay it on top of the card using an absolute fill. And I need to create my X and Y value. So animated value x equals x, animated value y equals y. And we need some snap points, which we defined. We know that it's x equals minus a. We have one for x equals zero, and then x equals a. Perfect. And then we need to add the transformations that we defined as well. So let me just do it here. So we start with an absolute field positioning and then transform. And we know that 
translate x equals x translate y equals y and we need to do the rotate z so we're going to interpolate on the x value from let's say input range we can do minus with with and out put range goes from oops minus alpha to alpha and we can add an extra polate clamp and we need to add the unit which is radiant let's have a look all right goes to zero and snaps to the left or to the right once we snap to the left or to the right it's time to cross the bridge so i'm gonna create an on snap method so we get a native event as parameter with an x value so if x is different from zero we get we need to increment the index of the current card from the stack so we get index from the state and we do a set state where index equals index plus one and to reinitialize the state of interactable i'm going to do something a bit ugly here which we can clean up later is set the key of the element as the index so let's have a look so i swap left right and the index is always updated one last thing we can do is that the card has a like and no opacity so i can create these two variables it's called like opacity and no nope opacity and I can also interpolate on the x value minus with and would go to no like is right so we go from zero to let's say with divided by four and that would go from zero to one and for the nope we go from minus with divided by four to zero and that would be uh, one zero let's have a look nope like perfect all right guys that's my time for today i hope you enjoyed these little videos if you would like to support the channel you can buy me a coffee and i will give you access to the private github repository where i tinker with all these examples and if you have a new react native project coming up i recommend you check out react native elements premium starter kit for react native it's 80 percent of what you need when starting a new react native project i've done my magic time to do yours and i'm looking forward to talk to you guys soon and in the meantime Happy